Hey guys, John Martini here from jokermartini.com. Uh, I wanted to show you some examples of a new tool I'm releasing called Labyrinth. And this is just going to show you some quick examples, nothing in depth on the controls or setup. That'll be in another video. So to start, I'll show you the support for animated objects, like these point helpers. You can get some cool plexus looks with it. You can also use the feature of draping to get additional uh, effects. Next, it does support PFLOW entirely, as well as the animated PFLOW setups you may have. And you can use draping on this as well. Next, I'll show you how Labyrinth, which is based on the core class of shape in Max, allows you to do anything you can do with a regular spline, such as lofting along a path. And we'll zero out these parameters real quick. And you can move these nodes around and the spline will still stay attached. And you can animate these as well. Next, I'll show you the support for spline shapes or maybe even text that works as well. And Labyrinth will run across that shape as well and you can control how many points there are by adjusting the override feature. You can also animate the offset to get some very cool effects to make it look like the spline's almost dancing along the path. And all these controls in Labyrinth are animatable. You can quickly uh, set up spline IKs with it as well. Much easier. Next, support for surface deformation and object animation. So this sphere here is animated with a noise helper or a noise modifier on it, and the rotation is keyed as well. And you can adjust labyrinth after the fact. You can do different order types such as distance and get some different patterns on the surface. You can also do surface, and you can enable the draping on here as well. And you'll see the splines fill it up. Get some draping effect. Very cool. Lastly, I'll show you how you can create some suspended cables on the ceiling, possibly in a, a lab of some sort. And if you're not finished with the model, you can collapse it to an edit poly and then just continue making modifications to the mesh and see the splines being generated in real time. And you can adjust your settings to fill the object with splines. And we'll just up the count here to 300. And there you go. Just a quick overview. For more information, just watch the next video. I'll have a link in the video description below here to that video. So thanks for watching.